everybody, this is Courtney from Twig and Olive Photography, and today I'm going to be showing you our new set of Lightroom brushes. This is set one, which is going to be geared towards skin touch-ups, things like that. Set two is coming in about a week, and that one is going to be more for enhancing images, outdoor type things. So I figured it would be a good place to start and show you a newborn here for the, the skin touch-up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with running a preset in Lightroom because I want to try to do as much in Lightroom as I possibly can. So I ran Aster from Floral Mat, and I'm going to go ahead and adjust my basics panel here. So I'm just going to kind of bring up the exposure on this a little bit and maybe just ever so slightly take down the temperature. She is a little bit jaundiced, but I don't want to fully lose her skin, her true skin tone. And if I take down the temperature too much, she's gonna get kind of cool. So we're gonna kind of just leave it a little bit where it is, and we're gonna go from there. So when you use brushes in Lightroom, you're going to be using your adjustment brush over here. And the presets are set here in this little top drop down menu. So some of the ones here are going to be in the second set. The ones that are going to be as far as skin touch-ups are going to be in here too. And I'm going to play with those here first. Let's actually use the jaundice reduction first. So jaundice reduction. So your brush is already set. You're going to go on here and you can make it bigger or smaller. And you're just going to kind of brush where that jaundice is. And you can see it takes off some of that orangish yellow without really getting rid of the skin tone color underneath, which is great. Now, if I want to go to use a second brush, I'm going to go back up to my adjustment brush here and I am going to click on new to reset it. And this time we're going to use one of the red reductions and there's two of them. There is a red hands and feet, which is a more mild one. And then there's an intense redness reduction. If you've got really, really purple hands and feet or things like that. So I'm just going to use the mild one, red hands and feet here. And then I'm going to kind of go over where I need to touch up a little bit of the redness. Oops, do I want to make that bigger? There we go. So just kind of like that. Pretty easy. Okay, done. The next thing I am going to do is I want to reset my brush again, so I'm going to hit new. And then I am going to go to do some of the skin touch up a little bit here. Not the cloning out of like the flakes and stuff like that. Um, I would use a different tool for that, but I am going to use the skin softener. And again, we have two of these again. We have a mild and we have a more intense one. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use the more intense one to show you what it works like here. So again, you can make your brush bigger or smaller depending on how you want it. And it's a paint on again. So you wanna stay away from eyebrows, eyelashes, lips, things like that. And you can go ahead and paint on this skin softening tool where you need to. Again, like I said, there's an intense one, which I'm using now so you can get um, the full feel for it. And there's a mild one too. So depending on how much skin touch up you need to do, you can use one or the other. And I'm going just a little bit fast to kind of show you how it works. All right, we'll zoom back out now. And I'm just gonna kind of click on and off what we've done so you can see so far. And that looks pretty good. All right. So if I go back up here to my adjustment brush and click on that again, hit new to reset it, Another one you can use here is a sharpen the spot, okay? So the sharpen the spot is one that you can paint on over eyelashes, eyebrows, little lips, things like that. Anything that you want to be sharpened a little bit, you can paint on like that. Reset it by hitting new. The other ones that are included in this set are going to be brighten the spot. Now brighten the spot, what that is going to do is it's just gonna add a little bit of light to certain areas, that's it, nothing else. Then, the next one that's gonna be here is cheeks. 
cheeks and lips this is one that you can use if you want like a little bit of painting on for color so just a little bit of painting on for color for cheeks and lips then let's see dark in the spot opposite of light in the spot so if you need a spot that you need to just darken a little bit you can do that so if you've got like a blown out highlight or something like that or that's what that'll work for and eye brightener if somebody's eyes are open that is just going to brighten and sharpen those eyes a little bit um, fix under eye shadows that's a really good one i'll show you that in a image in just a second here i talked about the redness reduction the jaundice reduction out of the shadows is a great one because this is a more intense of a bright in the spot so if you click on that and like i've got this area down here that's really kind of dark what i can do is paint on that and that'll bring that back a little bit Red hands and feet, we did that one. Sharpen the spot, we did the skin softening. All right, so that is it for the skin set. But as you can see, for just doing this light in Lightroom alone, how much you can actually do without even having to take this into Photoshop. Again, for the little flakes, I'm gonna use this clone tool. And um, this is not a preset, this is just a tool that's in here and you can go and do some of that. So some of the putzier stuff like that. All right. So I am going to use a user submitted image here for showing you just um, just a little bit more here. And there was one in particular, this one here, from Evan Farmer. And I am going to go ahead and run a preset on this. And I'm going to run, let's run a Wanderlust one. Um, Rome, let's do Rome, okay. So use the Rome preset. Again, if you want to adjust your basics, warm it up or whatever, you can do that. Now I'm going to go back to my adjustment brush. Here's a really good example of wanting to use maybe just a bright in the spot. So let's do that. We're gonna to go to bright in the spot and then I'm just gonna kind of paint on where I just need that little bit of brightness there to kind of even things out. Then we will go new to reset that. I'm going to do the fix that under eyeshadows. Here's a good example of just kind of making that smaller and just kind of see how it almost just erases those. It's fantastic. And you can paint over more than once if you need to. And we'll hit new to reset it. I'm going to at least brighten the one of her eyes a little bit. So we will go to the eye brightener. And again, I just can just kind of paint over there and you can see how it makes the eyes just a little bit more even. Looks really good. I could go through and I could do maybe the mild skin softening here. And again, you would just paint on where you want a little bit of this softening to go. And you can tell it's a little bit more mild. It's still really pretty. Um, we'll click that on and off just so you can see the difference. Beautiful. And then maybe we will end by just giving her a little bit of cheeks. And that's about it. So if you wanted to maybe burn or darken the images here a little bit, you could use that, because I haven't really showed you too much with that, the dark in the spot, and you could kind of paint on a little bit there too. So there you go. All right, so thank you, Evan, for letting me use that image. And thank you guys for watching this. I'm excited for you to play with these and just have more tools in Lightroom at your disposal. If you have questions, feel free to ask in our groups. We've got our online learning group, if you're a part of that, for our editing academy and our business academy. And we've also got the Twig and Olive Love for Actions and Presets group. And there's a lot of great people in there and community and questions and helping each other and things like that. So everybody have a great day and have fun playing.